Hi you guys, so I just pulled into the Blackstone neighborhood and oh my gosh, is it gorgeous. All the houses are so pretty here. And they kind of conform, you can see they have the same stonework on that one and across the street. Everything looks really cohesive. The closest grocery store, I think there's an Albertsons about three miles away and then you have Fred Meyers and stuff and there's some shopping centers. It's gonna be hard to see on video but I can see the Space Needle peeking through those two houses. So I'm sure we'll get some more views when we get inside. The drive down here was insane. It was so pretty. You could see the whole Seattle area when you're on the top of the hill coming down into the neighborhood. So the exterior is cement planked, which we like because it withholds and stands the test of time especially with the crazy weather we're getting, but today's a really beautiful day out. You have some stonework as well. It's just really gorgeous. Okay, now we are on the little front patio area. Look at the front door there, but I wanted to do a better angle of the parking. You can see if I pulled forward, you'd have a lot of uh, parking space in your driveway and then of course three car garage so definitely be able to entertain out here okay so when we walk in we have some tile ceramic tile i believe and then off to the left here carpeted we have the first space and you can see there's a ton of natural light coming in here Great use of this, an office potentially. We also have large closet. Bigger than I would expect off this first room. Higher ceilings, I would say. And then we have the stairwell going up. But when you walk in, you can see how big and open it feels. Just kind of flows and leads you into that main living space. Another closet, coat closet goes far back and around that corner. Access to the crawl space right there. And then the living room, which is really pretty. You have that gas fireplace, which is also gas outside. So we're electric and natural gas. And this flows into the dining area, which we'll go off to the side here on our way back, but you can see a really open concept and tons of windows for that natural lighting. Beautiful kitchen. This pretty backsplash. It's really subtle. It looks super nice. And a large walk-in pantry. Goes around the side there. The appliances are conveying and you have this wine fridge. So this is gonna be the house to entertain at. Lots of fun, lots of space. We'll go out um, in the backyard at the end, but back in that living area, off of it is the guest bath. You have just a little sink and toilet situation, nothing major, but it's nice to have that on the first floor when you're hosting. And then a drop zone. And this is locked, so we can assume just more storage and closet area. This takes us out into the three car garage, which is no joke. It's huge out here. You can see all the stuff that they've been able to fit and it goes kind of divots back in here.
we'll head on upstairs. Okay, we're on the carpet again, heading up. And out here we're on sewer and public water. And this house does have central AC, which is not always common. We're seeing it more on the newer builds because it's getting so much hotter out here these days. So it's gonna be really nice to have that in the summer. I'm gonna try and zoom in. It's so hard for the camera to do it justice, but you see that over there is Seattle and I can clearly see the Space Needle and all the buildings. It's harder on video, but really pretty. Okay, we'll start straight in front of me. Oh, this leads into the master. So right when we get to the top of the stairs, in the master bedroom, which is huge. That's a king bed. You can see all of the space that's still available. Go back over to this window again because it's that same beautiful view. The ensuite has that sliding door, which is always a nice touch. Turn on some of the lights in here. So off to the left. We have the shower, slipper tub, then a double vanity with that same cabinetry that's downstairs in the kitchen. A closet off of there. The stone or backsplash in here. Hot stone, but it looks really pretty. Across from the shower is the actual bathroom, so it's nice that that's tucked away. Okay, we are back out in this main area upstairs. There's a loft space. And then we head over here to the other bedroom. So this is listed as a four bedroom. And we saw downstairs that office space had a huge closet. So that would be what they are stating as the fourth bedroom, which makes sense. It was a great size. And it's always nice to have that option of main floor living if you want. <clears throat> right off of the loft space, we have this other bedroom. Decent size. And this one goes into the backyard window. Good size closet. Not necessarily a walk-in, but you can definitely step in here and have a lot of storage bigger than a standard size. To the left of that, you have another bathroom, which is nice that this one's a double vanity as well. and a bathroom with a fiberglass tub shower insert. It's a great size bathroom. Then the next bedroom, this one has a little bit of a different layout with this closet being directly in front of us in a different layout for the closet too. You just have those hangers straight back, but again, we can step into it larger than a typical closet for this size bedroom. And this one's to the backyard also. Right here is a linen closet. And then off of there, we have the laundry room, which is an amazing size, and you have the built-in sink. Could build a folding table over this and create like a little cubby would be super nice in here. And this one's looking out into the side area. Okay guys, we're gonna head out to the backyard. Okay, we're on the back patio and what an amazing space to entertain back here. It's really peaceful. We're not on a main road back here. 
at least that I can tell because it feels so quiet. Nice size yard and then we have the gas fireplace. Love the covered patio because you can still enjoy time out here when it's not a nice day, especially with that fireplace. So this wraps around to the side of the house. We're back at the front, so it's not fenced. You can see across there that the neighbors do have a fence. So to me, that's indicating that it's an option. We have the gutters going underground to some sort of community storm drain, which is nice for the foundation. I'll have to worry about that runoff as much. And we have those big windows. I'm just going around to this other side. It's nice that they're a little staggered up because it feels more private. And that's of course the part of the garage that goes out to that front. Okay, we're on our way out, but I was turning off some of the lights. And I wanted to point out, we do have some difference in paint color and a couple wear and tear marks on the doors, which isn't super uncommon, but of course, I want to point it out when it caught my eye. Easy fix. I'm going to give you guys a look at the neighborhood when I drive out. Okay, I'm going to circle around. We're pretty close, I think, to the entrance. We're like the first house when you drive in or second one. But I want to go around the cul-de-sac so you can get a better look at some of the houses. And then, of course, through there is that view I kept pointing out. can see some kids playing at the end of the street here so and a lot of toys out right there we can assume of course that this is a very family friendly neighborhood which is nice and then we're at a dead end right here so I'm gonna loop back around <laughs> 